Hey guys, hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you're in the world. Today, I'm filming my first mukbang in Korea for this trip. Today, we're gonna be eating North Korean noodles, naengmyeon. Naengmyeon is eaten in South Korea as well, but naengmyeon originates from North Korea. There are different kinds of naengmyeon, such as mul naengmyeon and bibim naengmyeon. So I picked these up about 20 minutes ago, and the packaging is legit. They put the noodles in these containers and then they, you know, somehow sealed it. So then when you come back home, you peel it off. Jam. This particular one is bibim naengmyeon. We have hard boiled egg on top, some cucumbers, sesame seeds, and the naengmyeon noodles. And you might be wondering, what is this red stuff? It's spicy gochujang dressing. Woo! I picked these up from one restaurant and this one from another restaurant. And this restaurant gave me four chopsticks. I guess they thought I was gonna have a naengmyeon party. And in this one, we have mul naengmyeon. This one comes with ice, but the ice has melted a bit because I walked a couple blocks. So this one also contains some sesame seeds, white radish, and this is beef broth. And we also have cucumber. When you eat it at restaurants, they typically would provide mustard as well as vinegar. But um, I didn't get it to go. They, they did give me kimchi. Two small packets of kimchi from this restaurant. This restaurant gave me the mustard and then some kimchi. Oh, I'm so hungry. All right, oh, I gotta unpackage this one as well. This naengmyeon has chicken. Big size. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Uh, it looks like that's chili, and we have some, is that bok choy? It's a, it's a little bit different than this one. This one looks a little bit more luxurious, more sophisticated. And we got the mustard. I'm always scared that sauces will explode onto my face. Whew, that's strong. And then. Kimchi. Radish one. That one tastes I'd Fresh roll of toilet paper at my Airbnb. Oh, did a piece of toilet paper go in there? Ah, this is a summer food. Very refreshing. It has a clear taste. It's like whatever sin you committed this past week, it's just gonna wash that away that clear of a taste. Maybe it'll wash the sins of even up to three weeks. Let's just say one month. Let's try this broth. This one, it washes your sins just two weeks. This is a double clearer of a taste. Wait, this one's a little spicier too. Just by looking at it, this one has more of a, like a murky look. Okay, when you look at photos of Bora Bora and those tropical places, the water is clear. It's clear like the broth of this one. This one's more like maybe the beaches of San Francisco clear. The noodles are chewy. It takes a bit of effort to um, break it down, but that is what makes a naengmyeon more legit. You know, these noodles are like kind of like a, a hard to get kind of girl. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Here we have some beef, a thin slice of beef. Please tell me there's another thin slice of beef. I think they just put only one piece of beef in there. 
We also have a hard boiled egg, a half hard boiled egg. I have a feeling the pibi nengmyeon, it's gonna be more flavorful than this guy right here. So let's try this first. Wow, this one really takes a bit of work to break apart. Color-wise, this uh, Nengyun noodle is more gray. This one has more of like um yellow tone to it. All three of these noodles, they have specks in it. Dark little peppery looking specks. Texturally, they're quite similar. But I feel like this one takes a little bit more effort to bite into. So, mul nengmyeon. Mul means water. And because this one's, it has a, a broth, it's more liquidy. It makes sense. And mul nengmyeon originates from Pyongyang. And Pyongyang is the capital of North Korea couple members of my family are originally from North Korea before the Korean War broke out and before the division uh, occurred. Now let's try the bibing name Myeon. Let's mix it up like a bibimbap. Oh, it's gotten a little stiff. It's become a little stubborn. I should not play nice. You just gotta kind of wrestle with it. I gotta spread all that sauce and distribute it as evenly as possible because I don't want no bland areas. Aha! There we go. I'm gonna take this off. I, I think that's distracting to my composition. That noodle was like lassoing spicy sauce on my chin. It begins sweet, like maybe like a 15% sweet, 28% even, and it ends spicy. <sighs> that's a big bang right there. Big bang. And yes, that's a K pop reference. <sighs> let's, let's cool things down with this broth. Ooh. Ooh. I miss my toilet paper from my hometown. This one is too dusty. Every time I cut, like, take off a piece, it makes extra toppings on my food. Oh my god, something is splattering on my chest. This cost 5,001, 5,001, um, and 5,001, that's like a less than $5 US, and this was 8,001. So altogether, this is less than $20 US. If I were to buy this in the US, it would probably cost like over $20. I'm looking at all the tall buildings out my window. Sometimes it's just unreal how close these tall towers of apartments are right next to each other. And it's just insane how like how tightly people live next to each other. I guess people just get used to it. Let's try this kimchi. 
It's a palm full. And I'm gonna start answering your questions in just a bit. Starts off sweet, just like this, and it ends spicy. It's not my favorite kimchi, but it's also not the worst I've tasted. Wow. My ears. Have mercy on my ears. Broth, broth. blush Whew. now I have tears coming out of my nose and my eyes wow okay there's a fire in my insides the firefighters are coming to my intestine, intestines, I can't talk anymore. Maybe this um, radish kimchi will help cool me down. My hearing is going off. I was definitely not expecting that kimchi to be that spicy. That's the spiciness I expected out of the peeping thing oh, My brain skills are scattering. You have to be careful of wooden chopsticks because they splinter things pop out. I need to meditate. Hold on. Losing my mind. Maybe this uh, murky soup will help. Mm. That's definitely cooling. Mm. Why well, didn't I eat the noodles beforehand? Let's have some chicken. You know, someone once told me that this area, you know, it's a little bit more um, flimsy, right? This is called bat wings. I learned that almost 10 years ago. Some things you just never forget. Mmm. I feel normal again. I prefer this one over this guy. But if these battle, which one wins? At least according to my mouth. You know what? This one has something cozy about it. I think there's some uh, sesame oil. That's what makes this one likable. Because of that slight nuttiness. You know, this one I'll prefer eating during the autumn, during the fall. But overall, this guy wins. Mm, this is bringing the spiciness back. I'm gonna answer your questions. Where do you get your glasses? Very nice. Do you know what I'm referring to? Borat. Very nice. I got these glasses from Hongdae, but that shop doesn't sell glasses anymore. 
they purely focus on color contacts and contacts in general oh god why is that spice resurrecting it's almost like every time the air comes in and out of my mouth it's like woo. it's rising maybe i need to scrape my tongue maybe that, maybe that might help i think that did help yeah, so my glasses, I don't know where I'm going to get my new set of glasses from now on because that's the my go-to shop. There's another shop across the street from them in Hongdae, um, but they are more expensive. And I couldn't find any frames I liked. I'll stop by this time. I think I might just keep my frames and just change the insides. I mean, when I pick up glasses, I am very particular because depending on the shape, they affect your whole face. If I wear square glasses, it's going to accentuate my square face. I personally do like those big round glasses, but on other people. When I wear it, it just doesn't look right. Maybe there's a brand out there I, I still haven't encountered yet that might be fitting. Hi, Mina. Do you have any suggestions for a new YouTuber who... Who wants to grow their channel? Maybe you can answer this in your next video. I would say make content on YouTube because you enjoy it, or there's something you want to share, or you feel that there's um, a niche that no one else has done before, but you know there's people out there who want to watch a certain category. Some categories on YouTube are oversaturated, but if you really enjoy doing that kind of more oversaturated genre, that's what you like to do. No one can stop you. When a category is oversaturated, you just make it into your own style. Whew, I'm getting full already. If I was filming in America, I would try to eat more. But um, tomorrow I'm going to be filming more food videos and then the day after, pretty much every day I'm going to be filming something like eating while I'm in Korea. So I need to be extra mindful of my health. Because there are times I overate in a mukbang and I could not sleep at night. And then the next day I'm super tired and it throws me off the schedule. This one has a lot of noodles. Here, let me try to pick it up. Oh, dang. I think biting into the middle of it will help break the noodles apart. This question's from Twitter. Will you be in Korea this summer? If so, are there any scheduled meetups? Well, as you know from the intro to this video, I'm currently in Korea. The meetup hasn't been scheduled yet. I would really love to do one, but I can't guarantee it just yet. I'm starting to get more drawn to this one. Oh, when you take out the yolk, it creates a little bowl. So you can put... Oh, it's almost like a spoon. Oh, a good amount of liquids go in there too. As I film this mukbang, it is Thursday, 3.17 p.m.
I prefer the mulnengmyeon because it's not spicy, but this one I like it because there's a slight nuttiness to it. And this one is just a bit too murky for me. Ooh, that spiciness. Ooh, it's coming back. I'm really full now. But before we end this mukbang, I just want to let you know, you know, I mentioned before my some of my relatives uh, used to live in North Korea. You never know what's going to happen to your country. Even if things feel very safe and secure, things can change in a moment, in an instant. It could happen next week. It could happen today or next year or if you get lucky maybe nothing will happen in your lifetime you can have all the money in the world but it could be taken away from you you just don't know but don't let that stop you from doing your best being your best uh, in my earlier years i used to think oh what's the point of anything if we're all gonna die anyways but while we're here be the best of yourself Oh, there's this quote, I can't remember word for word or who said it, but it goes something like this Leave the world a better place than when you first entered it Everyone's gonna die eventually, however, there's always people we're leaving behind And during the time you're alive, isn't it nice to live in a world that is peaceful and a place that is enjoyable And a place that cares about your happiness and health So, you know, the ocean is quite big And if you go like this in the ocean, it makes a little ripple it might not be a huge ripple. It might not even be a ripple big enough to vibrate half the ocean. But you created a ripple. And that ripple touched another ripple somewhere along the line. And even that is enough to make a difference. I'm gonna have uh, one more bite. And then I'm gonna go out for a walk. And then edit a video. I'm gonna stop by a cafe, explore a new cafe. It's a dry slurp. You guys, I forgot to tell you. I just opened up a merchandise shop. It's the Mina Food Mandala. If you look closely, it has my face on it. And we have the hair. What is the hair made of? <gasps> Spaghetti noodles. And then there's a pizza and a sushi, kimbap. The link to my merch shop is in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed eating North Korean noodles with me. And I'll see you guys in the next travel vlog and mukbang. Bye-bye.